Here are a bunch of exercises that, when put together, means that you can play things like... So let's start off with a little bit of a double. I know you've been working on your doubles. So doubles, obviously, two hits from essentially one stroke, controlling the second note. So you can see there's one swinging motion to get the accent. And this is essentially playing eighth notes and fifth, fifth and double in one. So So exercise two, we're gonna start introducing some accents uh, on the notes. So this is an alternating uh, kind of triplet exercise with an accent on the first of each triplet. Uh, so this means that it alternates between your hands. Your hands just keep on doing left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, but the accent alternates on the hands. And try to get a good swing, good snap on those accent notes and your other notes really gentle. So it looks something like this. And quite a bit faster. I guess insanely fast. Now, you can play that as triplets. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or you can play it as sixteenth notes. But that represents uh, basically would represent the first 12 out of a group of 16th notes so that you can make it into normal 4 4 time 16th by adding an extra four notes at the end that I'm going to do with two accents. So it looks something like this. faster now when you've got those patterns down you can play essentially the triplet pattern but with symbols uh, on the accented thing uh, and put your bass drum on so it's in alignment with that that looks something like this And I was really just dropping the sticks in between, so the snare notes in between it. They're not like, or it's kind of, you know, it's all completely in control. And kind of doing that with a 16th note pattern. Once we've got that, we can begin to work on some flams, or well, we can simultaneously work on some flams. But flams essentially are where you play one note uh, just before the main note. So rather than having unison, unison patterns will be like. Where you're attempting to strike totally together Flams are when they kind of do flam, and I guess the word flam is from that flam, 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 flam. 
Um, so a triplet exercise with them, and again, absolutely brilliant for working on your left hand, uh, would be to go slam, right, left, slam, right, left, slam, right, left. Taking that, you can apply that across the toms. You can apply it across cymbals. So, um, as we've got the triplet, Symbol pattern. We've got the 16th note symbol pattern as well, which we can play with a very similar um, style. Next up, a really good coordination exercise uh, for creating a fair amount of notes is basically the um, the triplet broken up between the hands and the feet. And that's just going right, left, foot. And started off really slowly with triplet, 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 Kind of diddling, diddling, did they gallop? And instead, we want. The triple fly. Next up, we could do two on the hands, two on the feet. For yourself, with the one bass drum pedal, you can play it significantly faster uh, than I just did with one foot. Uh, if you play with your hi-hat as the second one, so filling in two feet, so. So, putting it all together. something like that.